Hi everybody, we're going to talk about confidence intervals for sigma square and sigma now. And we've been using the chi-square distribution for variances, so we have to use that for our confidence intervals, and we must take that shape of the distribution into account. It is asymmetric, which is unlike the normal distribution that we have been using, so we're not used to this. Let's look at the formula. We have n minus 1 times s squared over chi squared at alpha over 2 with the appropriate degrees of freedom, less than sigma squared, less than n minus 1 s2, excuse me, s squared, my fault, over chi squared at 1 minus alpha over 2 with the appropriate degrees of freedom. And those degrees of freedom are n minus 1. So just like we do in our proportions and our means, we slice up our alpha into two parts for each side of the distribution. But we're used to having symmetric distributions, so we just have to look up one value there. Here, we have to look up two values. Let's look at our picture. See, that's what it looks like. See, you've got to look up a value here where the shading stops and you have to look up a value here where the shading stops and they're going to be different. So the trick to this is finding the, the correct value of chi-square from the table. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward but this is the sneaky part. So let's look at our example. We have a sample of 10 extracted teeth bonded with a new adhesive. The mean of the sample is x bar equal to 5.07 MPA, <coughs> excuse me, and s equal 46 MPA. I don't know what MPA are. So we want to find a 99% confidence interval for sigma square, and then after that we want to find a 99% confidence interval for sigma. So we need two values from the chi square table. How are we? Going So when we look up our values in the table, when we look up chi-square at 0 .005 with 9 degrees of freedom, we have 23.589. And when we have chi-square at 0 .995 with 9 degrees of freedom, we have 1.735. So we've got the denominators for our fractions. So we're going to put everything together. So we have 10 minus 1 times 46, that's your s value, squared. And that's going to be in the numerator of both of them. And then divided by the appropriate value from the chi-square table. Then you're going to have oops, uh, 9 times 2116. And that should be 9 times 2116 here. And you have 19044 in the roof, over 23.589 in the basement, less than sigma squared, less than 19044 in the roof, over 1.735 in the basement. And your final answer for part A is 803, excuse me.
of 10976.37 and that gives me 28 less than sigma less than 104.77 and that's